Well, hello everyone. Welcome to KLF Online. Today we just uh, wanted to bring you a word and bring you some, some data and information of things that's been going on here at the church. Each week we have a service and uh, we have an incredible team that takes that and, and processes that data and edits the, the camera and the, and the audio and, and they put that out the next following week online. And so this past Sunday we didn't have an opportunity to do that because we had a snow day. And so we just thought this was a great opportunity to, to just bring you up to date on some things that are happening here at KLF and uh, just give you an idea of, of things that are going on behind the scenes. One of those things uh, that we recently did this past Friday and Saturday was the EXO Marriage Conference. Yes. That to me, I will say that we were very excited. This is our first time to ever do it. And we had a very good crowd. Yes. It was great. We had uh, quite a few couples that were able to come and just enjoy, you know, spending time together, growing together. But there were two statements that um, the ministers spoke on. One of them, I believe it was uh, Dan Leanne that said, cultivate an environment in your marriage for the miraculous. Yes. And I thought, Very good. that is interesting because you know, you don't think about having an environment of the miraculous in your marriage. Right. But so many couples are dealing with the stress of their jobs, their children, their finances, you know, a, a pandemic, now crazy weather, mm -hmm. that sometimes you have a hard time looking at the miraculous or looking at your finances and saying, oh, this is what we have and this is right. what we need. And, and, you know, sometimes we we look at the facts mm -hmm. and we don't give room for the miraculous in our marriages. And so that was a statement that really stuck out to me. The other one was, I believe it was Jimmy Evans that said, uh, he wants to be hot. Mm -hmm. And when he first said that, I thought, okay, where's he going with that? And he said, I want to be honest, I want to be open and transparent yes. in my marriage. That's right. And so I want to strive to be hot in my marriage. I want to be honest and open and transparent so that the enemy doesn't have a room, Amen. any room to get in. And if you think of Philippians 4.13, it tells us that I can do all things, all things. through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. And so in your marriage, cultivate an atmosphere for the miraculous, be hot, and allow God to move in your marriage to the point that you have got that marriage that people are like, wow, I don't know how you did it, but I want a marriage like that. Amen. That's you right. know, Paul tells us, follow me as I follow Christ. Right. So in our marriages, that is something I walked away from. Um, just those nuggets that yes. were given to me. So that is my desire and not just my desire for us, but my desire for you as well. Well, there was a lot of great speakers. There was probably uh, 20 different sessions uh, throughout the conference, and it was a simulcast that we did here at the church. It was our first one. Total success. They had some great speakers. Jimmy Evans. They had uh, Dave and Audrey Willis. They had uh, Dan Leanne, uh, Garrett and Andrea uh, Booth. Booth, I believe, and, and there were several of them. Yeah. You can also look on your, uh, your phone app and, and download XO Marriage and become a part of that and actually re-watch the entire conference yes. uh, as a subscriber to that. So it's, it's well, well worth it. It was just a very powerful thing. And with that said, uh, we there's other things going on here at KLF. Mm -hmm. we're, we're looking at launching our very first Alpha Discipleship Project. Yes. Alpha is a very powerful, powerful ministry. We're very excited about yes. that. It's going to go every Wednesday night mm -hmm. uh, from 6.30 to 8.30. Seating is limited mm -hmm. and it's going to go for 11 weeks. We're going to have a spring session and a fall session. Mm -hmm. And if you're wondering what Alpha is all about, take a look at this video. Having conversations about life, faith, and Jesus is hard. And this is interesting because at some point, everyone wrestles with life's big questions. 
Questions about hope, purpose, meaning, and love. Imagine creating a space where people in our community, our friends, neighbors, and coworkers, can come and have conversations in a way that is authentic and unforced. Where leaders don't need to have all the answers and anyone can ask tough questions and share honestly about what they believe. That's what Alpha is all about. Alpha started in a church in London years ago with a simple idea to engage friends who might not typically go to church. Lives were transformed and it began to grow all over the world. Today, you can find Alpha in schools, coffee shops, church buildings, prisons, and homes. And so far, millions of people have experienced Alpha. So what is Alpha? Alpha is a series of interactive sessions exploring the basics of the Christian faith. In each session, you eat food, listen to a talk, and have discussions in small groups. Eating food together creates space for people to connect, relax, and build friendships. The talks tackle core questions about life and faith from a Christian perspective. And the discussion allows people to unpack these ideas without fear of being corrected or judged. All of this is done in a fun environment where anyone is welcome. There are three main sets of talks you could use. The Alpha Film Series, Alpha with Nikki Gumbel, and the Alpha Youth Series. Each is designed with a different audience in mind and is typically run over 8 to 12 weeks with a weekend away where there are opportunities to experience worship through music and moments for prayer. Alpha also comes with everything you need to empower others to be involved, like discussion guides and training videos for you and your team. And all the talks and tools are available online and can be downloaded for free. By running Alpha, you're creating a space where people can connect with each other and connect with God. Sign up, get started, run Alpha today. I think what I love about Alpha is it's going to allow us to sit down and have a meal together. Yes. Not just with our family, but with those around us, fellow believers. Some that maybe don't know Christ yet, some that maybe have never been exposed to the gospel. And so it's going to be nice to have a really good warm meal, especially on these cold days. And also just to get into the Word and just grow together. So I'm excited about Alpha. And uh, it's our first adventure with it. But I, I do believe it's going to be awesome. And I believe it's important for us as well to, to reach those people in our yes. life that, are, that don't know Jesus. It's a great opportunity. Sometimes we have a struggle sharing Christ with people. And this is a fantastic opportunity to bring people together for a meal, for the discussion, and we're excited about that. And that's, uh, that doesn't just pertain to here in Lubbock, here at home, yeah. but, but we're trying to reach out at KLF to other places as well. Yes. Uh, this next year, uh, we're going to continue giving in our missions uh, that's going to reach other people in other places. Yes. Currently, we give consistently to Israel. Genesis 12 and 3 says, I will bless them that bless you. Yes. And the Lord has certainly done that. The Lord has continued to bless KLF. We, we give to Israel monthly. Uh, we give to prison ministries. We, and we also have a very special uh, project that we're working on in Lagos, Nigeria. Yes. In 2020, we were able to raise uh, several thousand dollars and send it back with Prophet John Gilbert Shinadu to Lagos, Nigeria to build a church in Lagos. And uh, it, it's just a powerful thing. The Lord blessed the people, the people rallied together, and it's just a powerful thing. And so we, we wanted to take time and put together a little clip of things that are going on in Lagos and let you see the progress uh, with the, the finances that you gave and, and just see what God is doing there in Lagos. So take a look at this. Kingdom Life family in Lubbock, Texas. Greetings from Nigeria. But right now I am at the eastern branch of the church, the Imo State Church. I travel all the way from Lagos to this very place to glorify the name of God for what He's doing indeed. Through you all, your love, your care, your financial support in 2021, 2019, you know, it was so amazing that under lockdown in America, something good still comes out. I bless God. 
you guys are the reason for the season. What you did, I said, Lord, how will you pay them back? Say, this year, according to Isaiah 60, verse 1, you shall rise and shine, for your light has come. He said, the glory of God has risen upon you all. So I'm seeing God's glory upon all of you this year. Pastor Johnny, Pastor Karen, and the, all the pastors and the leaders of Kingdom Life. God bless you really good. I'm praying for you all. The work is just still starting. But one thing that stands sure, I'm not going to fail you guys. I still remain your humble brother and prophet, John Chinedu. I put on my Kingdom Life Fellowship cap. You know, uh, wherever I go, I put it up. I say, this is where I belong to. So I'm a part of this very family. This is a part of your job here in Nigeria. God truly bless you and keep you all until we meet again, if the Lord tarries. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Well, uh, this is a Good News Miracle Assembly, the very first phase of our church building. I have here with me the man breaking the wall now. Try to readjust and to put things the way it's supposed to be. I want you to wave your hands and greet my friend, Pastor Johnny Davis, Pastor Karen of Kingdom Life Fellowship and Kingdom Life Family. Well, how long have you been doing this work? How many years? Seven good years. I've been roofing houses. Pastor, you can see. They, they, they are trying to put some things down here, you know. See that guy, they are very strong guy. He used one hand to break hammers. Yeah. Very, very, very strong guy. God bless you, my brother, for doing a good job. Amen. Pastor Emmanuel, uh, Pastor Emmanuel is the resident pastor of Good News Miracle Assembly here in Ure Imo State. Pastor, God bless you. These are some of the block that is going to go up any moment from now. Yeah, this is a, a, a kind of a country place that is not far from the city. Uh, if I go outside, you see a lot of houses and uh, all over here. We have been, you know, preaching the gospel to make sure the people around this place get the gospel. And this is where they needed it most to touch lives here. You can see what we are doing to God of heaven. Well, isn't that amazing? I think uh, Brother Shinadu said that there was something like, uh, I think it's around 17,000 square feet mm -hmm. under roof. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's an amazing what they can do with such a small amount of money. Yeah. <clears throat> so this year, what we're planning on doing at KLF is we're going to uh, invite the people once again to, to mm -hmm. sow into missions. And we're gonna, and on our Easter service, we're gonna take up a special offering uh, for that specific thing, a first fruits offering, mm -hmm. and send that into missions. Part of that will go to Israel, then the majority of that will go to Lagos, Nigeria, mm -hmm. to begin the electrical work. Uh, they've they've used the money that they've had at this point, getting it all under roof, and now they're they're ready for the electrical and plumbing stage. So we're we're looking forward to being a part of that adventure as well for there in Lagos. Amen. Amen. One last thing that we're going to be involved in this year, uh, that something that's new that we're starting for the men's department, is uh, a, a time on Thursday nights. It's going to be the second and fourth Thursday night of the month at 6.30. 
and it's going to be coffee with the pastor. And I'm excited about this because absolutely, so <laughs> so many of the men have have in the past year been isolated, and now we want to come together in a time where we can grow together as men, as leaders of our homes and, and leaders of our community, yes. and and begin to uh, work on the very first project we have is understanding and defining our identity. We're going to be taking motivational gift tests, personality tests, spiritual gift testing, and just just find out who we are and who we are in Christ. And we're very excited about that, and that's going to be every other Wednesday or Thursday night, the second and fourth Thursday nights of the month, and we're just looking forward to see what God has planned with that. And I know the ladies are probably going, well, what about us? Well, the 26th of this month, we actually have our first, really our second, ladies game night. First one for this year, though. So we're really excited. We're going to be in the chapel. It's just going to be a great time of fellowship and bonding together as women. And then also, many of you may wonder, well, what about the big hat dinner? Because we had scheduled that, and then COVID hit, and everything went crazy. So we have that scheduled for June 4th. That's coming up and we're really excited. It's gonna be at a different location. So just watch our website, just watch for emails, text messages, your calls, and uh, you'll get more information. For those that did purchase tickets, we will be contacting you to see if you still want to come. And uh, hopefully you will want to come and just have a great time with us ladies. If not, we, we truly understand and we appreciate the donation and we will use that toward other women that maybe can't afford to come to the event. So we're really excited, but ladies, just look at the calendar. We have got stuff going on and we're very excited about that. So. Amen. Amen. Well, we hope today you've enjoyed this. We, yes. we just, uh, we're so excited about what God has planned for 2021. He's just an, an amazing God and we're just in yes. love with him. And just we're so excited about what is going to take place this year. Yes. And so for you and your family, we pray that the Lord blesses you and keeps you until we get to see you again. And uh, hope to see you soon. We love you. God bless. God bless.